Hey everyone, in this video I am going to be comparing Twitter and Blue Sky on both the desktop and mobile versions. Uh, I'm essentially reviewing Blue Sky here more so because it's been hailed by a lot of media outlets as potentially the next big social media platform or basically a better Twitter. I have a lot of friends and colleagues who work in the tech and marketing industries, so I hope that this video will give some actual insight into at least the features or what's going on. While a lot of news articles talk about Blue Sky and how great it is, they don't actually show what's on it. Big thank you to my friend Audens for providing me with a Blue Sky invite so I can check it out. And if you guys want to keep up with me on things like this and stuff like that, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So first things first, what is Blue Sky? It's basically a social app that was conceptualized to be a decentralized social network with federated design and community oriented moderation. That's quite a mouthful and quite complicated sounding, but it's basically a rebel version of Twitter with much more transparency, uh, granting of mobility from Blue Sky to a different app, if need be, for those who want to make their own Blue Sky app based on the same framework. And of course, that open source framework is something people can actually look into or at to see that there's no funny business going on, unlike uh, Twitter. So rather funny enough, Blue Sky is actually backed by Jack Dorsey, the previous CEO of Twitter, who oversaw the transition to Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter for 44 billion US dollars. Um, since Elon's purchase, a lot of organizations and people dissatisfied with the direction Twitter is going um, are they're basically trying to get into Blue Sky or going trying out alternatives like Mastodon, which uh, the latter is quite user unfriendly. So yeah, let's get into it. So immediately here, you can see that it's basically got the skeletal structure of Twitter. You've got the re I guess I don't know what they call it here. You got the replies, you get the retweets, you get the likes. Uh, you have more options to oh, share the dread, mute the dread, report the post. Uh, you got a reporting system. It's a very basic reporting system, straightforward. Uh, if you see on the left hand side, Blue Sky has basically the basics of Twitter, minus the all the add ons and extensions they've added onto Twitter over the past few years, like verified organizations, communities, and so on. And it again, in terms of settings and stuff, you can change the appearance oh my goodness who will go light mode you're a monster you can go dark you can go the uh, dark is the default uh you have the ability to delete your account you have the ability to change your handle just like twitter you have the ability to moderate what you see you can mute people you can add people to mute lists you can block people you can filter certain content so there's a, there's a lot of things um i feel like that blue sky does a bit better in terms of the straightforwardness like on the twitter app and on the twitter um, desktop version, it feels like I have to kind of uh, go through a couple more hoops than I should need to for all this kind of stuff. So it's nice to see that. However, in terms of, again, the features and of course, what's really important for a social media platform in terms of content, Blue Sky is quite empty. I think the last estimate from April was that there's only 50,000 individuals or accounts on Blue Sky compared to Twitter's tens of millions. So you're not going to see, you know, things like uh, a lot of memes, I guess. I, I mean, there are some memes, right? But you're not going to see the extent to which tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people are interacting with on Twitter. So if you go to Twitter, you'll see that there's a lot of things going on. Uh, and just like Twitter, Blue Sky does have these little tabs. Like on Twitter, I have the For You and Following tab. For You is basically what's trending and what I might be interested in that's trending along with you know, posts and tweets from other people. So I'm interested in Diablo 4, right? So I see Veins, I see I see Veins tweet. I don't know exactly why I'm seeing this post, but whatever, right? And I have the following tab where I can see uh, the posts from people I'm following. And here you have basically the same thing, you have the What's Hot tab, um, which kind of just shows <laughs> whatever is going on. I don't know exactly how the algorithm or what's going on here works with Blue Sky in terms of like how many likes you need to see what's hot. But again, it's a small community. So even posts like posts with like 53 likes is considered big. Popular with friends this is kind of like tweets or I guess posts that you see other people that you follow are liking or looking at. Uh, you again have the basically the same thing with these two tabs on Twitter. Ex uh, you have the exploration tab. You have the notifications tab. Uh, same thing. You also have the option to see, or I guess uh, filter out things on what you consider your, your feeds. Yeah, that's really it. Um, Blue Sky isn't really doing anything revolutionary so far from what I've seen, apart from maybe better settings. 
interface, um, apart from the very framework that they are based on. I don't really see, again, too much content just simply because it is closed beta or invite only, uh, which I think is a mistake because uh, social media platforms should probably be a bit more, uh, how should I say it, uh, open. <laughs> uh, that's really it. But I think they're probably testing some stuff and I think they don't want too many people giving too much feedback at the same time because they are taking quite a lot of feedback um, compared to old Twitter or even new Twitter. Uh, they're they're talking about like they're very straightforward in talking about things like you know con like self harm. They're very straightforward in talking about what features they want to add, what features people want. Um, they seem pretty receptive at the moment to a lot of user feedback, and they are pretty open with what they are doing behind closed doors so far in terms of development. But yeah, uh, before we kind of like end the video, I want to compare the mobile versions because Blue Sky is also an app. Okay, so this is the app or mobile versions of Twitter and Blue Sky. So on Twitter, I mean, it's the same as desktop. And the reason why I compare desktop and mobile uh, really is because I know a lot of people who work with companies that prefer desktop because it's just uh, easier to work with, especially in terms of scheduling posts and stuff like that. Uh, so that's nice for Twitter. And hopefully that's something uh, you know Blue Sky can implement. So I'm just kind of uh, just kind of like going through Twitter here, and it's the same thing on desktop. And you can see different settings, different features. You got direct messages. You got tabs. You got the exploration. It's pretty intuitive to use. Pretty easy to use. Uh, on Blue Sky, it's just less buttons, less features, and that's really it. Um, it. It doesn't, again, in terms of content, it's very bare bones. Uh, I, I guess I could try like following more people or just seeing what's going on under the What's Hot tab. And as you can see, there's no real difference yet between the desktop and mobile versions. Whereas on Twitter, there can be differences between the mobile and desktop versions of what you see on your feed. So at, at, at least in terms of consistency, Blue Sky is uh, seemingly better. And that's pretty much it. And you can basically uh, post whatever you want uh, in terms of like images. Uh, you can, that asks, uh, Blue Sky asks, what's up? And Twitter asks, what's happening? And yeah, that's really it. Uh, is this the next, is Blue Sky the next big social media platform? Big, uh, is, is it going to replace Twitter as it is right now? No, I don't think so. I have no idea apart from the, uh, the infrastructure backend that most users, I feel like wouldn't really care about would work out in terms of marketing or anything like that for Blue Sky. Uh, it definitely has potential simply because, well, it's backed by Jack Dorsey and also the fact that it's basically Twitter. But perhaps it could be, I don't know, something more attractive. I'm not seeing anything in terms of features that would make me go, whoa, I'm going to move my company here just yet. Apart from like, oh, I don't like Twitter or I don't like the monetization of certain features on Twitter, which is fair. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think about Blue Sky or Twitter down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.